Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Today I just want to do a little show and tell of some recently pimped knives I got from my good buddy Geoff. Um, Tough, you guys know him as Tough Thumbs here on YouTube. And uh, if you're not subscribed to him, uh, I'm, I'm gonna put the link below. Go ahead and check his channel out. He does knife reviews, but he also uh, he's a what we call a knife pimper, man. And he is a wizard with G10. He really knows how to do his thing. And I sent him three different knives to work his magic with. And I just want to show them to you guys right now. So, uh, first, we'll show you the knives. Here's a Rat 1. You know, oh, hey. Plain black G or, um, FRN handle. FRN type material. And uh, here we go. Two-tone G10. We got a Spyderco Cricket. Uh, beautiful stainless steel etched. Now, Toxic G10. We got an Emerson HD7. Nothing special with the black G10, but... Yes! Got that nice J G10. Beautiful. So, I just want to show you guys these knives. I'll just start with the HD7. Here was the first one I sent him. I, uh, I really liked the, the J D G10. He... He showed one of his knives with, I think it was that military. I sent him an email. I said, man, I really want a JD G10 on my uh, HD7 because that black G10 is just it's just kind of plain, you know. So I sent him the knife. Came back. It's got this beautiful JG10. Really nice. Especially with that all black hardware. Black backspacer. I was gonna get maybe like a toxic backspacer, but I like I like the look of the jade and the black black clip. And he gave the blade a nice stone wash. So beautiful, beautiful. The action on this is just all amazing. So now this knife is it's it's complete, man. And I just got it back. It's being sharpened. Razor, razor sharp. So he does great, great work. I mean, the lines, it, 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 the backspacer, and the G10 is lined up perfect. I mean, there's no gaps. You know, there's it's just an even right across. Really nice. The screw holes are nice and tight. You know, there's not like a, a, a gap between the screw and the G10. It's really, really nice craftsmanship. So I got this back. Loved it. And I sent him my Rat 1 and my Cricut. Now the Rat 1, I said, man, do whatever you want with it. Surprise me. Go crazy. This is this is your uh, canvas. And he, uh, <laughs> he went all out, man. Uh, definitely blew my mind. Way more than I thought I was going to get back. I mean, beautiful. So, as you can see, he used a really nice gray color G10 for the bolster. It's got kind of a fake titanium bolster. And blue and black G10. You can see the blue in there. And this has kind of like his own... This is kind of like his own little design he came up with. I'm not really sure what you want to call it. But this, it kind of looks like it looks like that uh, rock G10 that he just did on that um, that sword knife. It kind of kind of reminds me of really nice attention to detail on this. The the bolster and the scales they line up perfect. There's no gaps between them. Really nice uh, mating of the two. And as you can see, uh, you know. This ridge right here, how it stops there, and it picks back up on the blue G10. It's lined up perfect. Same thing on this side. I mean, it looks like one scale. The way the design is is matched perfect. Black hardware looks really nice. See, there's a good shot of that blue and black G10. Everything is just really nice and lined up perfect. He gave the the blade and the uh, pocket clip a nice stone wash. Looks really, really classy now. Fits in the hand 
perfect. I mean, it feels so nice. I just love this Route 1. He did such a great, great job on this. See, and then the lanyard hole is, is kind of recessed in there. Kind of like at an angle. It's just really nice attention to detail. He he really he's really got his shit together with this. He's each new project is just better and better and better. He really is really good. And my cricket. Now this one I had something in mind. I wanted that toxic green G10. But he took liberty with the design and I'm really pleased with how it came out. So now I have my G10 cricket with a frame lock. Kind of like a one of a one of a kind. It's actually the first G10 cricket I've seen. It's kind of like my Strider cricket, Crick Stride. And of course, it's the etched cricket, so that adds even more class to it. Gave it a nice stone wash, a beautiful stone wash. Feels really good in the hands. And I've actually got uh, another cricket sent off to somebody else in the forums, and uh, um, so that's going to be a surprise. I'll probably have that. It's, that'll probably take a couple of months because he's way behind. But when that comes back, it's that's going to be awesome. So here we go, guys. Here's the lineup. Tough thumbs, man. If you guys need any work done, I mean, he can do any design, any color, uh, uh, recessed liners. Um, like your, your military with the recessed liners, he can do that. Really, just great work. Uh, pretty much any design you want, he can do. Like Oromoto, uh, he wanted the Dragon Skin G10. He did that, and it looks awesome. Like you said, right now, he's he's catching up on some projects, so his turnaround time is really quick. So if you guys want to send it in, it's, it's really, really fair pricing for what you get. And... From what I've known, he's really quick to get the job done and really quick to get it shipped out. But don't the quick turnaround time is not does not jeopardize quality. I mean, just look at these knives, beautiful, beautiful knives. You know, and it doesn't have to be a G10 knife to start off with. You can send in a uh, a knife with a wooden scale, a plastic scale, uh, a, a knife with pins. He can he can do anything. So, and it's just fun. It's just it's just fun to to send a knife in and have it totally transformed into a different, totally different knife. So I I encourage you guys to to play around with your knives, man, and 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 send it in because you you'll be you'll be happy. You can stone wash, you can do G10, you can do carbon fiber, micarta. I think don't quote me on that. Really nice guy. He knows his stuff. And here's my pimp knives, man. So y'all take care now. And I'll do a macro vid too and show some close-ups. Right. Take care now. Be safe. Stay